Hey guys, Mike here again. Kind of an off the cuff uh, video tonight. Wasn't going to do it, but I keep putting this off, and the bottom line is I'll never wind up putting together a, a scripted video for this topic, so I figured I'd just wing it and get it over with. And the topic is um, protecting your wealth. <clears throat> you know, it seems like we always talk about on these YouTube channels for picking, which is appropriate, all the you know, what to buy, what not to buy, and all the tips and tricks and all that. But when it comes down to it, the whole point of making money is is to better your life, right? Maybe uh, put aside money for the future, whatever it is. The idea is not just to make money, but hopefully to, well, I guess that's the whole point of this video, is a lot of people stop right there that, and just simply focus on making the money. And as soon as the money comes in, the money goes out on something. So that's the first problem people have. And then the second problem a lot of people have is even if they're of the mindset of saving and preserving wealth for the future, for retirement or whatever purposes, they put it in the wrong places. And that sort of gets to the heart of the video here is uh, I just want to throw it out there that um, you should be careful storing your money in paper, basically. Um, you know, those green pieces of paper are great. It's a wonderful currency. It works really well, but it doesn't do very well when it comes to true money because it lacks the, the ability to be a store of value. Trying a new cigar today. It's not bad. It's really light, but it's kind of tasty. But, uh, yeah, you know, our... I'm going to be all over the place on this one, so I apologize. But, you know, when it comes down to it, our monetary system is inflationary. That's how it's designed. I'm not even saying that's a bad thing. It's just, it is what it is. It's an inflationary monetary system. The system keeps moving and keeps rolling because new money is created and introduced into the system. And that is, in its very, by its nature, obviously inflationary. That's the definition of inflation, is increasing the money supply. And obviously, when you have more of something, then each individual unit individual unit becomes less valuable. For example, if you ha if you went to an auction house and everybody had five bucks in their pocket and they start auctioning things off, you know prices are going to be you know pretty darn low. If someone comes in there and gives everybody a thousand dollars, they start auctioning things off. What's going to happen? That the the price of the the goods, the auction goods, are going to go way up because there's more money chasing the same amount of assets, the same amount of goods. So, you know, and that's the problem that we have in our mindset today is people save for their future in green pieces of paper. And nowadays our bank accounts, savings accounts, aren't even keeping up with inflation. So if you were to put aside ten, fifteen thousand dollars today and fifteen years from now, take that ten, fifteen dollars out and spend it, you're not going to get half of what you could today. So that's really the whole point of my whole video, is to say that, uh, you know, we focus so much on making money, we really need to focus as much on how to preserve our wealth. And keeping it in green pieces of paper will not work. Um, and so that begs the question, what do you do? Well, there's a lot of things you could do. Uh, one thing you can do is... Uh, put into real estate. Well, let me just say this first is uh, obviously you have to put your the money that you earn today if you're trying to store your wealth for tomorrow into something that will keep up with or beat inflation. So, you know, there's a few options you could do. Um, real estate, you could do um, stocks, they keep up with inflation. You know, you look at countries in the past that have had, you know, everybody talks about Zimbabwe, people talk about the Weimar Republic and all that, and when you look at the stock market, for example, in the Weimar Republic, yeah, it did pretty well, of course, you know. Um, I don't think it did as good as um, precious metals, but it still did good. So yeah, you could have real estate, you could do stocks, and uh, precious metals, of course. You, well, you could do anything, you could store it in uh, oil, you know. But how could you put oil in your garage and store enough to really do that? It's impractical. So the reason I thought about this whole thing is I got a cup, a uh, little shipment of silver in. It's pretty cool. These are uh, Fiji turtles. Really cool. And uh, 
So I, as you've guessed, this is where I like to store my wealth. You know, I, I trust having, uh, not all of it, of course. I try to do a little here, a little there. But I try to keep as little as my money in green pieces of paper as I possibly can. You know, just what I need to get by at any given time to pay the bills and stuff. Otherwise, you know, buddy of mine have uh, real estate property. We've got six units, I think, six, no, six buildings, 16 units. That It's a pain in the butt, though. Be careful with that, man. It's, uh, I won't get into that on this video. But, um, and I put money into stocks. I put money into uh, gold and silver. Anything and everything that I as try to get as diversified as I can in assets that I believe will beat inflation. Because, you know, somebody gave you, a, whatever, $10,000, $100,000 today, and you stuck that, buried it in the yard, dug it up in 30 years, you know, might get you a year. It's just how it is, man. you got to fight our government there. I won't even get into that. You know, it's a shame when your own government is is beating you down, and you've got to figure out ways to um, get around the, the very thing that should be there to protect you and help you is actually really hurting you. But yeah, that's it. I just really encourage everybody. Notice I didn't tell you what to do because I'm not a financial advisor. I, I'm I just you know I do all the studying I can. I try to make good decisions with what I have, but that's really something you'd have to do yourself. But I really encourage you if you have you know that nest egg that you're putting aside you know for the future um, be really careful and and really focus on things that will keep up with or beat inflation like I said whether it's real estate whether it's precious metals whether it's stocks and another quick thing to throw in there you'll notice as well if you look back in history at least the research I've done is these things go in real ebbs and flows you know you'll see that equity markets are smoking hot for whatever 10 years 15 years real estate market will get smoking real estate market will get smoking hot for whatever 10 years and then the, the precious metals hard assets uh, commodity pretty much call it the commodity markets will get hot and and the, and you see you can watch the money the smart money flowing from one asset class into another asset class into another asset class beating inflation and trying to keep riding those those um, those waves of uh, money allocation and you know the last few years precious metals have been great I've been real happy with that I still think it's got another you know five or ten years left in that probably but like I said I'm not an expert don't please don't buy and especially right now I was gonna make this video when silver was down at like 17 and gold at 12 something and I thought man you know it's a great time to make it because if anybody got into it they're you know, I think they're They've uh, got a real good chance of making money, but you know, silver's popped up to 24 now, as of um, 8:27:13, and gold's up at around 14:15, I think. So, um, you know, don't invest, please, based on my my information. I just want to give you the general idea to beat inflation. Um, you know, really focus not on just how to make money, but how to allocate your money to preserve your wealth. And I've rambled on a whole lot. I know, I've been all over the place, but I've been wanting to make the video, and now I can lay this one to rest and at least uh, say I did it. So I'm going to enjoy this cigar, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alrighty, guys, I thought I was done, but, you know, when I turned off the camera, I actually thought of one more thing I wanted to say, and that is, um, this is my opinion, and there's a lot smarter guys than me when it comes to finances, so take this with a grain of salt, I guess, but the, the older I get, the more I realize... How little I know, I guess you would say. And so therefore, no matter how passionate you get with any particular asset class, you know, you get real into stocks, that's great. You get real into precious metals, that's great. Whatever, I would say um, diversify. You know, I've seen people get into things and they go head over heels in one particular class. And you're, if you're wrong, you're wiped out. So... That's what I want to say is just really diversify, whether it's in real estate, diversify the types of real estate you have, whether it's in uh, you know, stocks, I would say really diversify your portfolio across a bunch of different markets. And I would even say um, allow some people to control your money, you know, maybe do some hedge funds, mutual fund type things and just allow some really smart people to deal with a portion of your portfolio. Take a portion for yourself that you can research and try to do it on your own, diversify in that way, even across different uh, trading platforms um, and I would say for the you know precious metals get all kinds of different you know platinum gold silver whatever um, keep it in, in different places you know uh, I 
I'll go I'll go on record as advocating not keeping it at home because the idea of losing a, a chunk of my holdings at gunpoint really doesn't sit well with me. You know, a lot of people are going to say, don't trust the banks, they'll have bank holidays, and they're going to come confiscate safety deposit boxes. Not going to happen. Never going to happen. So, um, or if you don't trust them, you know, find some abandoned field and bury it somewhere. I don't know. But be diversified in that. You know, just when it, when it comes to your money and preserving wealth, that's what I want to say at the end. Just diversify, diversify, diversify. That's it. Take care.